a lot of the times what's happening on the coast is uh, there's the climate change issue, but there's also the issues that compound the climate change issues. And for example, for Monkey River, those issues are inland issues, right? So the type of activities, um, agricultural and other type of degradation that is interrupting the flows of the river, um, you know, the way those sediments would normally travel to the sea um, and accumulate. So the, 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 the sort of, you know, water abstraction or getting of water for agricultural activities upstream, because if you think about the, the inland systems, right, they always drain into the coast. So there's a whole dynamic there of how those systems are, are moving and flowing and carrying sediments. And so when you start interfering with those activities upstream, you, you also end up in, in some trouble right there. And so you couple that, which is the human activity that we are having here on the ground with something like global climate change, which we ourselves are not responsible for primarily, you know? We do emit some uh, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that cause climate change through our activities, for example, our use of electricity, our transportation system.